It was a secret she kept a long time. Didn't take it to her grave. There was a trip she took to Pensacola when she was young and didn't have to behave. There was a man she'd long admired. There was something about his rugged good looks. She liked to watch him on the TV screen and read about him in the comic books. She said it was the heat of the moment. Said it was the blush of you. She said it was the smell of the sea air and the taste of gin and dry vermouth. She said it took about an hour, just an hour, couple inches of black and blue. Grandma's Batman tattoo Close to her heart, a private work of art Underneath the wool and the flannel Nobody could have guessed There upon her chest Same bad time, same bad channel Holy Toledo, something to see oh, She always kept it hidden from view Grandma's Batman tattoo. Grandma was a real good grandma. Grandma was a real good wife. She lived to stay at home and turn the stories on squash casserole kind of a life. Grandma didn't stir up trouble. Grandma just stirred the stew. She didn't like to fly, never told a lie, and she never made a hullabaloo. But there were nights when she lay awake and wondered, how come it turned out this way? What happened to the girl on the tilt a whirl by the beach on that summer day? Sometimes she would look in the mirror Sometimes she would stop and stare At herself and her favorite picture Both looking kind of worse for wear Close to her heart A private work of art Underneath the wool and the flannel Nobody could have guessed There upon her chest Same bad time Same bad channel only to lead oh, something to see oh, she always kept it hidden from view grandma's bad man tattoo it was a secret that she kept a long time she didn't take it to her grave it was a family trip to new orleans when she was old and didn't want to behave Grandpa had been gone about one hard year and we thought maybe this trip would cheer her up. Yeah, take Grandma to the Mardi Gras and let her walk Canal Street with a gold cup. Time has not erased the memory. I'm hoping one day it recedes. She said it was the heat of the moment. She said she really wanted some beads. It was the moment that we all discovered what just the doctor and grandpa knew. Grandma's bad man tattoo. Grandma's bad man tattoo. Good morning. It is the Monday morning cup of coffee for Monday, December 12th, 2022, my 30th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, sweetie. We're going to go have a nice dinner tonight, and then we're going to go watch Nathan's Hardcore Duo in uh, East Nashville. I forget where they're playing. Uh, the East Room, I think it's what it's called. Um, so that's that's on today's agenda. And um, it's a celebration, and at the same time, uh, 
Uh, folks are going to be planning a celebration of life. I don't know when or where or if it's going to be in Nashville or Spartanburg, South Carolina, or both. But uh, we got to give Peter Cooper a send-off. Um, Peter did it all. He was a journalist and a singer-songwriter, an author, country music historian. He taught a class at Vanderbilt on the history of country music. He wrote several real nice articles about me uh, that picked me up when I was blue sometimes. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, in 2003, I was working a dead-end job in an office at Vanderbilt uh, and uh, no prospects. My career was done. I'd probably never make another record again the way I saw it. And uh, one day somebody walked in with a copy of the Tennessee and folded over so that I, I, the, so that a specific art, article showed up. And this person gave me the Tennessee and there it was, the top 10 underappreciated artists in Nashville. And I only remember two of the names that were that were on the list. Webb Wilder was on there, and me. And uh, uh, man, that really was a shot in the arm to me. Um, you know, singer songwriters, artists of all type. You know, good reviews are like food. Same as when people tell you how much they enjoy your music, you live on that. You feed on it. Because oftentimes there's not a lot of any other kind of food to go around. Um, and Peter did that for me on several occasions. And uh, he wrote liner notes for my new uh, CD anthology, 30 Years Shot to Hell. He uh, was one of the first journalists ever to take government cheese seriously. And... Uh, we wrote a song together. You just heard it, Grandma's Batman Tattoo. The actual title is Grandma's Tattoo, I guess because Batman would cause all sorts of copyright uh, woes and tribulations. And that was from Peter's album Opening Day, which is a terrific record, just like he was a terrific person, and now he's gone. And I'm trying to wrap my head around the notion that I'm never going to run into Peter in a bar or do a gig with him ever. It's, you know, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. If you didn't know, Peter slipped and had a bad fall, hit his noggin on the tile floor of the bathroom, and uh, got a brain bleed, and it took him. Took him several days before uh, before the injury uh, took his life, um, but it did this past uh, this past week on Tuesday Tuesday night. I saw him Monday. I saw him the day before he died. I went to the hospital and saw him. Brought my guitar and I played "Nice Day" for him, which I had heard him do one night at this uh, tribute concert for me. It was a fundraiser concert right after my car wreck in 2015. And I heard Peter do Nice Day, and now I've done Grandma's Tattoo, which was on his album. And Peter wrote the whole song, really. I just gave him the title. And I remember we were coming home from taping the Leno show in L.A., not coming home, going back from the studio in Burbank to our hotel on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, that's where the genesis of the song happened there. I played Leno with Peter Cooper. We were backing up Todd Snyder. We were in his band. I played rhythm guitar and Peter played the bass. And uh, that was in 2006. And two weeks later, we played Letterman again with Todd. And uh, there were so many, I can't tell you how many times uh, Peter and I hung out, how much of a blessing he was to everybody here in town. Everybody's devastated. Everybody who knew Peter knows that there's a big hole left now in, uh, in, in everybody's life in this world that we all live in. Peter was a gem. He was humble. He was considerate. 
He was literate. He was musically learned. He was a loving husband and father. And I just can't, like I said, I can't wrap my head around the fact that he's not here anymore. Um, you know, I hope, Peter, if you're out there listening, send me a sign of some sort. I just want to make sure you're all right. You know, turn my stereo on and off without me doing it. You know, something like that. Uh, turn the lights on and off. Mess with me a little bit. If you could do that, Peter, and let me know you're out there. Uh, I know you're in here. I just want to make sure you're you're out there somewhere and, and doing well. I hope you're doing well, Peter. Um, I wish you were still here with all the rest of us. But that's between you and God, I guess. Uh, Donald Trump is still walking around. Peter slips and hits his head and dies. There's no justice in this world. It pisses me off. pisses me off and makes me sad that Peter's gone. Uh, I know that this is a real upper. This is a real up uh, Monday cup of coffee today. You're really going, thank you, Tommy, for cheering me up so much. Uh, well, you're welcome. This is for you, Peter. Everybody raise your coffee cup up and send me a picture of your coffee mug. God bless you. Don't let the bastards get you down. Thanks for all the memories, Peter. All the music, all the love. God be with you.